and here we go. Oh snap. Alright, hello viewers, and welcome back to Attack of the B Team. This is episode 4, or 5, or 6, I believe. Not really sure. Whoa. Oh, that's loud. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm flying in the air. Look at how good I am at flying. That's because I went caving, like I said I would, and I killed a bat, and now I can fly. And this has made everything so much easier. Um, so yeah, see? I'm a... Let's see. Let's see if I can show you. Boop. I'm totally a bat. It's kind of awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm a bat, and I went caving. Now, I know I said I was going to do some structural work and stuff like that, but I didn't. We just still have our really terrible shack here and our airship, but the good thing is now we can actually get to the airship, like so. Now we can actually get up here. Um, but I did go caving, and today I'm going to show you what we got. There are some awesome things. So let's see if we can grab this chest without blowing it up. Oh, what the heck? Ow! Oh, you're terrible. Well, I was just kidding anyway. There's nothing in there. Well, there's a- that thing's full. It's full of junk. That's what- that's what's in there. Whoa, these guys can track from far away. The real chest, though. It's right here. Here's our chest. And this is full of everything that I made slash we got during our mining trip and all of that other good stuff. So, let's have a look. See, I guess. Alright, check this out. We have so much good stuff. 46 gold ore, 4 silver ore, that's not so much, 17 lead ore, 3 iron ore, 9 iron gravel ore, 62 copper ore, 47 tin, some iron, a couple diamonds, a lot of redstone, we even got a potato from a zombie, we have marble cobblestone, aluminum ore from Galacticraft, uh, I got some malaberry bushes while I was running to the cave, I got limestone, ferrous ore, uh, iron berry, no, iron ore berry bushes, aluminum ore berry bushes, aluminum ore, skull berries, raw silicone, silicon, silicon, maybe, malaberries, peridot, ruby, 34 quantum dust, one aluminum ore berry, one magic conch, stay, one relic, and this. I made this. Now, I customized the song on here so I could play it without getting a copyright strike, which is why it says dub steppin for use by Taylai. And of course we have the song Trust Me by Uterix, which is a pretty cool song, just wanna say. And this is our new weapon, guys. A dubstep gun. Oh, let's see if there's any mobs left around to test this thing on. Uh it's so oh, you can be a perfect target. Here we go. So this thing actually consumes redstone. And if you look in the very top left corner, you can see it says 35. Uh that's how that's like the ammo of it. So it will use one piece of redstone to give you 100 in the top left corner. So if I grab this, uh, that it will use the redstone as the ammo. So let me explain. When I right click, the number in the top left corner is going to count down. <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome! And the song I put in there is pretty cool too. So, notice how that number was at 35 and now it's at 12. When it hits 0, it will consume one piece of redstone and go back up to 100. So, it is actually pretty efficient. It's a really good weapon. Let me demonstrate now. Yeah, it's basically a rocket launcher <laughs> with wubs added wubs. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> oh, he really, really can't do anything to stop us. It's kind of awesome. And then, yeah, I figured out how to customize this. Oh, yeah, we can see that number now. See how it says 98? It went back up to 100 and used one piece of redstone. So, it does use redstone, but redstone is really, really easy to find in this mod pack, so I think it's definitely worth it. And it it makes awesome music too, so, I mean, it's a win-win. It's a pretty awesome weapon, and since we're a bat, we can kind of just, you know, stay in the air like we just did, and just wub 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 wub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's kind of awesome. It's kind of awesome. I'm debating on whether or not to install Optifine to kind of help with the frame rates. Um, I turned on OpenGL, that kind of helps, but it does make it a little bit 
uh, weirder, like it only renders what you can't, what you can see, you know? So it makes it a little bit worse, but it, when I install Optify and then the mods, like, the mods, the mobs are missing, like, arms and legs and stuff, so Optify is kind of like, okay, I don't know if that needs to be there necessarily. Let's turn this down so we can actually, yeah, not as loud, good. Okay, so here is all of this stuff, and we're just going to take it all. I kind of want to... I kind of want to craft something today. Let's put let's put the stuff that we don't need back in here. You'll notice that I have a ton of bread, and that's because I turned all of that wheat that we got from those crazy spawner statue scary things and turned it into bread. So we're eating those statues now, essentially, which is fine by me. But, uh, yeah, let's see. What do we want to do? I definitely want to get a smeltery for Tinker's Construct. Construct smeltery. We're gonna need one of these, so I think today we're gonna try to make this. So let's see, this needs seared brick. And how do we get seared brick? We have to cook uh, slime soil. That's probably not what we're doing. Uh, slime soil, slime soil. This is all slime soil. That sounds terrible. How about the, yeah, this one's made out of weird soil types. How about this kind? There we go. This is made out of seared brick, which is just grout that you cook. How do we get grout? I think we're going to need a bunch. Oh boy. So it is gravel, sand, and clay. So we're going on a trip to get gravel, sand, and clay uh, so that we can make a smeltery for ourselves. So let's do this and I'll talk while we go. And it should be pretty cool. Let's bring our chisel. I think we need to. Um, I cheat. I'm sorry. I don't care. That's kind of cheaty, but really I don't even care. And I don't think you should either. How about that? Whoa, I just told you what to do. Can you even believe it? You can't even believe it right now. Okay, so we have some gravel. Uh, we have no sand. And we have no clay. So, we are in search of a desert. As well as... Oh, by the way. Here's my cave right here. Boop. Le cave. It's way over there. Um, but it's a pretty good one. So, it's worth it. There's a swamp land over here too. We can travel really fast now that we're a bat. So, that's all good. Um, let's go try to find a desert. And we're also going to pick up clay on the way. Uh, first, let's actually craft ourselves a little bit better of tools here. Let's see. We need a shovel. Give me my iron. You know what? We can go with diamond, because why not? Diamond is very easy to get, so we're just going to do that. And, yeah, that's good enough. All right, we've got our gun. We've got tons of food. Let's kind of actually... Let's put our ores in the chest really quick before we go exploring. So yeah, guys, uh, if you missed it, I uploaded episode one of my Rust uh, Hardcore Survival series, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, I kind of feel bad because my Skype was being weird and I kind of messed up my partner's videos, I think. Um, so I don't really know what to do about that, but... Eh, it happened, so it's kind of like, okay. What am I doing down here? Oh, there's a Zambi. The The thing about our dubstep gun, though, is it's not too great for close quarters. Like, we can do this and just kind of blow him up, but, like, watch this. Okay, like, he's dead now. That's easy. But we can also blow ourselves up. Did you hear that bat squeak? Watch. Yeah, it can definitely hurt you, so that's a crazy thing. So yeah, like I was saying, Rust, I'm not too sure about how it went. I do kind of feel bad because, you know, my computer, the connection kind of messed up the Ruby Zone and Zul'jin Skype call, and I'm like, ooh, uh, you know, kind of feeling like I don't know what to do about that, but I don't know, I guess it's done now. It's a done deal, you know, can't fix it now. Let's get some gravel while we talk. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a pretty cool series. Um, it's getting a little bit of attention, which I like. That's a good thing. Um, kind of trying to share it, spread it around a little bit. I haven't done that, but some other people are on the Reddits and stuff. I'm like, okay, Reddit is kind of cool. Reddit's good. Reddit is good. <laughs> um, so yeah, what else? Let's see. I would like to be able to get this smeltery going. I think a smeltery is definitely going to be essential uh, for us getting better items in Tinker's Construct, which we are definitely going to need. And I think we need to set some goals and priorities. And I think 
one of the most important ones that we could set right now would involve going to space. Because going to space and traveling to a different planet would always be a priority. I mean, come on. Oh, oops. Oop, I don't need a hat. I was trying to open the space map. I forget which button it is, so we won't do that now. But yeah, going to space has got to be important. Um, I mean, it just has to be important because there's other planets to explore and all of that cool stuff, and why would we put it off? So our first priority is going to be to get into space and discover. We need to like figure out how to make a flag and plant it in the name of Taylai Games. That would be awesome. I claim this planet for me. And then we could name it Planet Taylai, because we're so original around here, you know? Anybody who's watched me for any amount of time can tell I am the worst, like the worst with names. So I'm actually not that original, but that's okay. Oh, look, we're over here. Here's my cave. Let me just show you really quick since we're here. Um, you come in here, do to do, boom, ravine. And this is a pretty big cave system. I got some of the ores out from here. Here's like my crafting table and stuff, but you just... I mean, look at how many ores are left. And I got a bunch. You saw how many ores I got, right? <laughs> oh, this gun feels so overpowered. I love it. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, go back and edit the sound files once more and try to make it quieter so that I can actually talk over it because I definitely need to be able to talk over it. So it won't be as loud next episode. Don't worry about that. But anyway, that's a huge cave system. It runs all through the ground, and it's pretty cool. What were we doing? Aha, sand. Here's some sand. We need sand and clay and all this good stuff. So let's grab this. Uh, yeah, I was talking about something that... Oh, yeah, Galacticraft. We need to go to the moon or, like, Mars or Venus or Saturn or Pluto, even though Pluto isn't a planet. By the way, does anybody have an opinion on that, that Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore? Because, like... Um, in schools and all that, in school I was like, I was taught that Pluto was a planet, you know? And I think Pluto's a planet, come on, it's orbiting the sun, it's fairly big. I guess technically it is pretty small, but come on, you can't judge people by their size. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's still a planet. It's, I still consider it a planet, there's nine planets, come on guys, you can't just discount Pluto. He's a nice guy, he never did anything wrong. It's just freezing out there, and you're like, you know what, Pluto? Forget you. I know you're cold and miserable, but let's just make it worse. You're nobody. So I kind of feel bad for Pluto, you know, at least in that sense. So, yeah, kind of sad. I guess if we can go to Pluto, we should definitely go to the planet Pluto first. Uh, even though it might not be considered a planet. I don't care. We're going to Pluto first, if we can. But if we can't, then it doesn't matter. We'll just go somewhere. But yeah, we need to get to space because... Space exploration would be important. I think we can definitely... What if there were aliens? That would be awesome. We need to get, like, some minions, too, and we need to figure out all this stuff. Now, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit because I'm pretty sure that this pack is designed for use on a server. And if you haven't noticed, I'm not on a server. I'm playing single player here. And I kind of need ways to keep this interesting, you know? To keep it relevant because I don't know how many of the mods I can use properly for example if I like created an awesome I think like witchery you can do all this cool stuff but oh don't let the water in okay hi you're not water oh, you die now oh no right click you die now yeah there we go yeah so I'm not sure how it would work on single player so this is where you guys come in if you would please leave me a comment and tell me Oh, dang it. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think I can do within this mod pack that can be done in single player to keep this interesting. Because we are playing this in single player just because I don't have a server to play on. I didn't get invited to one or anything like that. So, you know, uh, just let me know. And I will try to keep this interesting. I would like to move on to a server if I ever got, like, invited onto one. I probably would join that instead. But what's this stuff? Tin. Okay. How much sand do we have? 64. Ooh. Almost two stacks. That's probably going to be enough. We have a little bit more than two stacks. Um, yeah, but for now, at least, we're in single player. And I don't really know what to do, which is why I'm just going to set goals like get to the moon. Or Pluto, rather. So our goal is to get to Pluto. But once we do that, I don't really know. 
So leave me comments here and tell me what you think I should do to keep this series interesting, keep it alive, keep it fresh, and all that good stuff. So let's see here. Open the map. Looks like we've got, ooh, a volcano biome over here. Let's go check this out. Ooh, there's also a little circle thing over here. I see it on the map. Ooh, here it is. Yeah. Ooh, there's a, oh, what the? Ooh, getting some lag. Oh, oh, I forgot. I have a dubstep gun now. <laughs> Okay, that thing is really awesome, but it's also really loud. That's that's a little better. Okay, guys, I need to take over this area. This is going to be my area. Uh, yep, you can all die. They don't die. What on earth? Oh, well. Um, we'll have to come back here. Let's put a marker. And we'll say, boop, right here. Witches. Boop. In locations. Good, good, good. All right, so... What am I? Am I poisoned or something? What's shooting me? Oh, you are. I shoot you back. Dubstep. Get dubstepped. Alright, I think he got dubstepped. So, oh, is this gravel? Gravel would be perfect. No, this is ash stone. Ooh, look at all this. Do you know what this would have to be? Uh, let's let the ground render in a little bit. This is going to have to be our weapons testing zone. So let's put a marker here. Weapons testing zone. There we go. So this is where we're going to test our weapons, I would say. Um, what is that over there? Does this look like it could be a mob with a hat? Well, come on, fly, you fool. There we go. Uh, ooh, it's a jester's hat. Let's get it. I think we got it. Okay, cool. Um, he's dead now. Uh -huh. Alright, we still don't really have any sand. Well, we have the sand that we need. We have some gravel. What we don't have is clay. We have a little bit of clay. Let's see how much clay we got. 16? That's only four blocks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's only four blocks. Let's see. Yep, that is only four blocks. What kind of... No, that's no good. Four blocks is not good enough. Whoa, what's this? It's like ash block, but I thought this was ash block. No, this is ash stone. Okay. Ooh, there's a floating island up here. Let's go see it. Where is it? That's it right there. We're heading in. Alright, here we are. Ow. Hey, come at me. Oops. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we can grab this slime water and it spawns slimes. Uh, so that's cool. Can we grab this stuff? I would think that we could, right? Ooh, it's bouncing on the block. That could be useful in, in a variety of ways. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. All right, we're back. Had a really weird frame drop there, but uh, should be okay now. Uh, look at these clouds. Whoa, more frame drop. Whoa, everything's rendering in weird because of OpenGL. I don't know if I should turn it off or not. Probably should. Whoa, clouds. We can, we're in a cloud. Break the cloud. All right, let's go check out this crazy biome over here really quick, and then we'll end the episode. So that's about it, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. And really, we're going to have to... Oh, look, there's sand here. That's so perfect. Uh, fly. Whoa, what a, whoa, should I not be looking at these guys? What are they? It's a creature name. What's this, creature? These are all creatures. All right, let's kill them all and see if we can morph. Okay, we did not morph. How about this one? They seem to be hostile or passive. Oh, ouch. Yeah, they don't attack until you attack them. What's this guy? Did we get him? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. These guys. What? Okay. Fair enough. Die. Okay. So... 
there's some sand here. I'm going to collect it. I'm going to try to get the stuff needed. Ooh. Right there. You see that? B Bam. Yeah, we hit it. Perfect. I'm going to get the stuff that we need to make this smeltery, and then I will be... Oh, we haven't killed an Enderman yet, have we? Well, we'll kill one right now. We totally killed an Enderman. Oh, you know what? It doesn't count as me killing them when I use the dub stepping gun. That's okay. We're going to have to kill another one to get, uh, yep, to be able to morph into them. But I'm going to get the stuff that we need, and I will catch you in the next episode, guys. Whoop, there we go. Have a great day. I have been Taylai, and bye. So, I'm over here. We have to be quiet now. This is a coven witch. Coven witch, see? She doesn't seem to be hostile, so we're gonna kill this zombie. Uh, I'm using this diamond shovel as a weapon because I don't have a sword. Are you gonna be mad at me? Can I right click? Whoa! Oh my gosh, you have a name. Selena Drago. You do not interest me, young boy. All right. You are not skilled in the art. You do not interest me. You do not. Interest me. Why do you waste my time? You are not skilled. You do not. Inter you are not skilled. Why do you waste my? You do not. Um, I may or may not have killed Selena Drago, if that's how you say it. I also may or may not have morphed into her. <laughs> well. We are a witch. Yes, with a shovel. Hmm. And... <laughs> Alright, kitties, be sure to like the video or your pup's getting it.